Hello, can you hear me? I should have just recorded this, but I figured there would be more conspiracy theories and more bullshit if I didn't do something live. I, pr I probably either will record this for after or, um, I don't know, we'll see. Of course, I'll probably talk about it tomorrow too. Let me try to find the video capture. There I am. There I am. I know it's a it's a weird dark background here with the uh, GWO in the back. Um, of course, I've seen everything that's been said about me the last couple of days. Absolutely none of it is true. And like I said, I'll probably recut this. Let me start recording. I'll probably recut this because I, streaming on Twitter is baffling. It used to be a lot easier, and now you have to go to X Studio and all this fucking trashy shit I, I don't know if this is what elon calls fixing twitter or what but um definitely it was a lot better before i have to say so like i said i'll probably cut something else um but as you know i went to the beach this weekend no i did not drink no i did not pill i did Either my wallet fell out of my bag, which tends to happen sometimes because I have this bag. Yes, the purse. And sometimes I leave it open uh, at the top. So either my wallet or phone fell out or as the Uber driver who took me back, which, by the way, they let you pay cash for. Thank God I had some pesos. Um, they let you pay cash uh, for Ubers once you get stopped here, which I did not know. It was like 200 pesos or something like that to pay to get back. So I was able to get back to my house. Um, as far as the credit cards go, debit cards go, um, I'll have to figure that out tomorrow. We'll see if I get to even do a show tomorrow. I plan on doing a show tonight, though, for that reason, because I don't know if I'll be able to do a show tomorrow. It's kind of important because I can't, you know, pay my – I have some pesos stacked up, but not enough to pay my rent and, uh, you know, buy groceries and all that shit. So – sort of a sort of a dire situation um which i admittedly uh was pretty stressed about uh, i decided to to email my strange wife who has not talked to me since july 5th uh, she hasn't sent me anything about my daughter she hasn't talked about scheduling any visits uh pretty much cut me off completely although i do see her reading my messages um, so the idea that I owe any child support on an agreement that doesn't even exist when she's not telling me anything about my child, probably at the behest of her father, to be honest with you, um, is nonsense. Uh, I won't pay a single dime uh, if I'm not involved in my daughter's life. Uh, and the fact that uh, either one of them, I don't know about her, but he certainly does, uh, thinks that I owe child support when my child has basically been stolen from me um, is ridiculous. And either one of them can see me in court if they feel any differently uh, because I won't pay for a child um, that I've been cut out of their life. Like, that's just not going to happen. Uh, I really don't care what anybody else thinks about it. Um, it's just not going to happen. And I messaged her many times and said, hey, just, you know, not even get back together, just, uh, which I, you know, would have liked to have done, but uh, just, you know, fill me in on my daughter. Like, it's it's ridiculous all the way around. Um, and then going public, like, I owe money. I don't owe either one of them a goddamn cent. And until there's something telling me otherwise, or until I'm cut back in on my daughter's life, I won't be paying a goddamn cent. And I did pay before, by the way. So that whole talking point is completely bankrupt. It's a complete lie. And, you know, if, if that's how they want to operate, that's how I'm going to operate. And I don't have any shame about it. I don't feel, I feel bad that it's like this, uh, but I don't feel bad about my stance because I'm 100% right. I feel like um, some men probably watching this um, understand exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but I'm not going to pay for a child I can't see, particularly when there's no agreement 
telling me to pay in the first place. I was paying out of the kindness of my heart. Now, if you're going to cut me out of Rosie's life, if you're not going to tell me what's going on, if you're not going to send me any pictures, if you're not going to set up visitation, I don't owe you a goddamn thing, and that's period. And people can take that however they want. I haven't talked about this publicly, by the way. My light's about to fall over. I tried to move it to get a better angle. Um, that's been the situation for almost two months. Now, I didn't say this in public because I didn't want to take it there. But after I emailed my wife last night, who finally responded, by the way, only to leak these emails to her degenerate father, who is basically scum of the earth, takes glee and breaking up a family, keeping a father from his daughter. Um, you know, I, I don't owe that, and I'm not going to pay that absent a court order. And even then, I live in Mexico, so good luck getting me a court order because I don't, you know, it, it doesn't have to be this way, uh, but apparently that's the way they're determined on it to be. Uh, no, I was not drunk this weekend. I'm not drunk now, as anybody can see. Uh, and this is a gay op by Kino Shea, I'll say, since I'm on Twitter. Uh, and his masters at the Kino Casino, and his good buddy Harry Morris. And no, I wasn't drunk then. I'm not drunk now. I'm sure they wish for that to be the case. I'm sure there's nothing more they would love than to see me drunk. Uh, but I wasn't drunk. I was stressed out. That's true. I was very stressed out. Pardoned a couple typos on Twitter. That's what I said earlier. There was a typo in a tweet. I was like, oh, no, they're going to say I'm drunk. They're going to say I'm drunk now. Uh, no, I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk, and I have to be very sober to face down these demons. And even the other night when I went head-to-head -head with Worski and PPP, uh, I defended her past Lollicon advocacy, which, by the way, I had to pull teeth to even get her to denounce that in public, if you want to know another truth. I literally had to, you know, I won't say beg, but pressure uh, her to put out that denunciation because she didn't think it meant anything. Well, that means a lot of things to a lot of people because a lot of people think you're a pedophile if you're supporting Lollicon and you have that on your record. And I realized she was with a real sick fuck and promoting whatever he was promoting. Uh, but those are the facts of the matter. You don't have me on record supporting Lollicon ever. Ever, 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 ever. But you do her, and you do have Harry Morris sitting in Cog's chat talking about uh, it's funny when Cog calls her a pedophile. There's no low the guy won't sink to, basically. And, you know, it's a tough situation because even now I still love my wife. Um, but that seems like a fool's errand, to be quite honest with you. That seems... That seems very foolish uh, of me uh, to have held on to that, uh, especially after what was done last night. I was trying to figure out a way back home. Now, had I known the hotel would have just called me an Uber in the first place, I wouldn't have wasted my time uh, looking for help in all the wrong places. But at the time, I didn't know how I was going to get home. My phone was gone. My wallet was gone, which I'm going to have to try to figure out. I may even be able to call my bank today, but, um, you know, I was looking for a lifeline. I was looking for a lifeline, and I got a kick in the face instead. I got these losers on Twitter, Kina Shea, ex-Flamenco superfan who paid him dollar after dollar, $20 according to Flamenco, who I just saw on Twitter, uh, to get back in his Discord. Kina Shea has no problems with Flamenco. By the way, there are plenty of reasons to have problems with Flamenco, I want to be clear. Uh, but the reason he has those problems has nothing to do with that. It has to do with Flamenco exiling him from his community. And I can't think of a bigger Spurg reason uh, to be upset at somebody, but that's Flamenco. Uh, he's lied about me constantly over the years. When I made my turn on AF, he was the first one asking people to unblock me. He's been in my DMs every day asking me to spread his news, news, quote-unquote. And very much, 
at least half of the time, the guy's full of shit uh, and frames even good news in the worst way um, and in a way that is not really that impactful because he's a retard trying to copy the Ralphie, Ralphie Mel. Ralphie Mel. I'll take that too. The Ralphie Mel. Uh, but no, I'm not drunk. Uh, I am pissed. There's no doubt about that. I'm very pissed uh, that my own wife would sell me down the river uh, for I don't know what, uh, for internet shekels or internet clout or her daddy's pat on the head. I really don't know why uh, she would do such a thing, uh, but she did just that such thing uh, because he quoted directly from my emails on Twitter. Uh, you know, I said often, trust no bitch, and... You know, I haven't always lived by that. You know, we took solemn vows to each other uh, to stand by each other through thick and thin. And it meant something to me. And seemingly, it doesn't mean anything to her. And even worse than that, she has cut me out of my daughter's life for almost two months now with nary a word about my daughter or seeing her or anything like that and so the idea that she's some type of sympathetic figure given that and given her history um is ridiculous now you can't help who you love you can't help who's the mother of your daughter um but she was quite treacherous uh last night and um i i don't see that I, I don't really see that panning out, unfortunately. Um, and if you've been watching my show for the past, I don't know, month or so, you know I have studiously um, refrained from talking about this, from telling you that she's cut me out of my daughter's life, from telling you uh, that she's completely ignored me. And again, I don't know if that's at the behest of her decrepit father or what, but the facts are the facts. And the fact is, she has made a concerted effort to keep me away from my daughter. Unjustly so, by the way, since I'm on the birth certificate and there is no, there is no doubt about parentage. And as people know, I have other legal uh, concerns going on. So, you know, dropping thousands of dollars uh, to settle that situation hasn't exactly been at the top of my list, uh, but it's rapidly moving up the list, I have to say. And it's a sad situation because I do still love her. I, still, I do still love my daughter. Um, but it is what it is, as they say. Um, and I've been through a lot worse I've been through the ringer year after year after year. And the idea that lies of these sort will ever stop me, will ever take me down, are ridiculous. And I'm planning on doing a kill stream tonight, but I just now got home. I just now got home, and I wanted to get on air because there's a lot of lies going on around, about me, right? I wanted to get on air and show you that I'm not drunk and show you that I'm not fucked up and wasn't fucked up then. And so that whole narrative is false. Keena Shea, whatever he wants to call himself, uh, immediately jumped on that narrative because he's a dishonest hack just waiting for the opportunity to turn on me and he thought he had one. And so that was his decision. But I'm telling you now, I don't need a Kina Shea. I don't need an anybody. I've been hosting this show for nine years now, eight years now, and never have I once thought, I need a Kina Shea. I need a so-and-so. I only need Ethan Ralph. I only need Ethan Ralph, and quite frankly, I guess I don't need a wife either. Uh, and that's unfortunate to say, because in my heart of hearts, I still wish that would work out. But uh, after she uh, shared my emails, which were about trying to get home, by the way, they weren't anything controversial. I was worried about how I was going to get home. I said, can you please help me? Because I knew she had a debit card. Can you call me an Uber? Call me an Uber. Yes, that. That's the whole reason that I emailed her in the first place. And then the first thing her father does is go on Twitter. And I wonder if he's going to make it back to the green. Because my house is green, by the way. 
I wonder if he's going to make it back to the green zone. And da, 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 da. he lost his wallet. Well, there's only one way he could have got that information, and that's from Amanda Morris. And the fact that she would do that to me after I paid her way the entire time when she was going through college and didn't work one single second, didn't contribute one single dollar uh, to anything that was going on. I flew her around the world in places her pops would have never taken her, Rome and Cuba and all over the United States. Um, you know, contributed in I don't even know how many other ways. I can't even count the ways that I contributed. All the while, her father was being a tight walleted bum this entire time. So he can say whatever he wants on Twitter, and he can play to a certain crowd, but those are the facts. Those are the facts. And I'm not going to pay child support, which it isn't, because I don't have any child support with her. I'm not going to give any money to a person, family, however you want to put it, who is actively trying to cut me out of my, that's a different case, out of my daughter's life. And if people don't like that, I really don't give a fuck because that's the truth. And there is no message, no email, no nothing, no sound, anything that can prove otherwise. They have actively tried to keep me away from my daughter. And the idea that I would break off any money, even one dollar, when that's the case, is just not me. And I do still love my wife. I do still wish it would work out. I don't see that happening. Um, but absent a court order with visitation included, I will not be paying one single dime given their actions. And so people can take that how they want. Some people, I'm sure, will agree with me. Many people may not agree with me. And that's okay, too. That's okay, too. But if you want to know the reason, that's the reason. And I could, I can't show you on my phone because it's gone now, but there are many emails where I say the same thing. And the only time she answered my emails was to try to rat on me to her father. So that shows you what I'm dealing with. It's unfortunate. I really didn't want to litigate this in public, but here we are. And I'm going to be me no matter what. And if you like it, that's great. If you don't, that's even better. Because I don't need anybody except the Killstream faithful. And I feel like the people who have been watching my show know how hard I've tried know how hard I've refrained from taking it there. And it was because I hoped uh, in my heart of hearts that that would be the answer. Quite clearly, that is not the answer. And, you know, it's, it's sad. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. It's sad. Uh, it's sad that uh, a few typos on Twitter would have people saying I fell off the wagon. I haven't fell off. <laughs> Felon fallen off any fucking wagon. I'm driving the motherfucking wagon. And believe me, if it was any day, it would be today. Uh, I was not fucked up at the beach. I knew even going to the beach would start this bullshit. Because traditionally, I have gotten drunk at the beach. But I was not this weekend. I'm not now. You can see me right here. Um, if I'd had my phone, I would have went live last night. But unfortunately, I did not. Also, it's very complicated to go live on Twitter, so I apologize for that. I don't even know how many people are fucking seeing this, uh, but I may clip it out uh, and try to post it later. Um, but those are my thoughts. It's it's an op by Kina Shea. It's an op by Queen Casino. It's an op by Harry Morris to try to throw me off my game, to try to get me back in the bottle and in the pills. There's nothing more that they would like other than that. And I'm here to tell you that ain't fucking happening. That ain't fucking happening. And I don't care who it is allied up against me, even if it's my own wife telling tall tales. Uh, that's unfortunate, 
But uh, I've stated my piece here as far as that goes. I don't owe one single dime. Nothing. Now, that could change if, you know, certain people stop being an asshole, stop being a... It's evil is what it is. It's not even being an asshole. It's evil. If certain people stop being evil, I would have no problem uh, signing up for such an agreement. Uh, but I told Fat Boy Morris himself, I won't be paying out of my own pocket with no agreement for a daughter that I can't see. And you can either like that or not, but that's my stance, and it's never going to fucking change, ever. So... Those are my thoughts. I'm not drunk at all. I'm probably going to be doing a kill stream tonight. We'll see. I have a few things I need to take care of now that I lost my wallet, which I shouldn't have taken both cards in my wallet, but I did. And, um, you know, that's my mistake. I guess there's an outside chance. Maybe somebody finds it. I don't know. It's Mexico. So although in Progresso, a lot of them do speak English, uh, most of the places they don't, but if they do find it, I'll be the most grateful. Uh, and hopefully they do. And, uh, also what they didn't steal, which was in another pocket in my, in my bag there is the, is the diamond ring. They didn't get the diamond ring cause they didn't check every pocket and that diamond rings worth more than everything in that purse times. I don't know, 50 or a hundred. So it is what it is. It's a shame uh, that I have to address this stuff publicly, uh, but I don't regret a single word. I don't regret a single word. Um, also, the the things that um, you know Harry is mad about uh, that she told me about his brother. She told me that. She told me that, and then tried to say it wasn't true. Now maybe it's not true. I don't know, but I do know that she told me that. In the summer of 21 or 22, and it was right there in Forest Park next to our house in Richmond, and she told me the things that I repeated about her uncle. That wasn't something I made up. That was something she allegedly, ma allegedly made up. So if you want to blame somebody for that, you can also just blame her. Because she told me that. She's the one who made that up, allegedly, and tried to blame temporary psychosis. Now, this is all true. People just want to lay it all out on the table. Let's lay it all out on the table. Because she's the one who told me that. I didn't make that up. That wasn't a flight of fancy. That was something she told me directly. Harry. That wasn't something made up. That was something either deep and dark and true, or maybe she did have temporary psychosis. I don't know. I really couldn't say. But I know for a fact that didn't come from me. Period. So you can stay mad. And then also the whole thing started because him and Alana destroyed $2,000 worth of my property. And I was supposed to be cool with that. I'll never be cool with that. I would rather leave this earth than be cool with that. Stole my property, sold it, stole other property of mine and sold it. I would rather leave the earth than be cool with that. And it's unfortunate uh, to have to address all this and to have to put all this out there. But let the, let the chips fall where they may. Let the chips fall where they may. And I'll let, I'll let the people decide. But... Um, I just wanted to get on here, talk a little bit, talk about my sobriety, which is still intact. And I may talk a little bit more about it on the show tonight, if I do one tonight or tomorrow. Um, but these are things that I know for a fact. The fake sex tape that Harry promoted of his own daughter, he knew it was fake and was told it was fake. And was told that it was a way to get his daughter back. Now imagine, imagine somebody tells you they're going to promote a fake sex tape of your daughter and you go along with it. It wasn't real, by the way. 
but you go along with it just to get your daughter back. This, and it didn't work at the time, by the way. This is the level of depravity that Harry Morris revels in. He's a sick guy, sicker than I could ever dream of being. I could not imagine countenance in any way doing that to my own daughter. But he can because he's sick. He has nothing to do with his life. He wants to be an e-celeb more desperately than anything, except he sucks. And he was willing to win by any means necessary. And I know I have the everything's fair game, uh, but that doesn't include lying about sex tapes concerning your own daughter, you sick fuck. And when you look at the people online, you look at the people around this sector, Harry Morris is even sicker than that other guy. By a lot. By a lot. There's no lie he's not willing to tell. There's no op he's not willing to run, true or otherwise. And quite frankly, at this point, they deserve each other. And I hope that changes, uh, but I don't expect it to. I think I've said enough. I'll probably clip this out because I don't know how many people even see it on here. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I should be back. I should be back later tonight with a more full-throated, full-throated response.